Hello everyone, it's Angie here at Beads and Plenty More and I thought I'd show you how to do our, we're calling it Marquee Magic Bracelet today. Um, it's using these little tip beads which are two hole beads with a pointed top to them. And then I've got diamond duos here. I've got four millimeter um, crystal rondelles and I've got O beads and size 15 seed beads. So let's get started here. Um, this is a, a two needle project so you'll need two beading needles and about a meter of fire line. So I've got six pound fire line here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my toggle clasp. Um, the finished length on this, and I used one full strand of tip beads, is about seven inches with, with the toggle clasp on it. So you can adjust your size accordingly. Um, I did use the full strand and that's how I got my seven inches. So I've got my toggle clasp on the center of my two needles here. And then I'm going to add on um, a four millimeter rondelle through both needles. Now we're going to come back later and um, come back the other direction so I can actually reinforce my clasp at that point. I'm just going to move this off to the side. And now we're going to separate the needles out. So I've got one needle each. And I'm going to put three of those size 15 seed beads onto each needle. All right, so now the very first tip bead. So I'll just line the holes up here. And one thing to watch is that your beads all point up because it's easy to flip a bead over and have it point the wrong direction. And so you just want to just check as you go. So I've got my tip bead on and now I'm going to put one diamond duo on each side. So again, watch the direction so that you make sure that the, the point of the diamond duo goes up. And then I'm going to put, go back to putting a tip bead on again. So I'll have you do that until either your bracelet is long enough or um, you run out of the tip beads and that'll be the other end. And then we can talk about the next step. So here we are at the other end of our bracelet. And just to give you some perspective, this was one full vial of the diamond duos. Um, I have three left. So you do use most of your supplies here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the three seed beads on the other end here with one needle. And then I need to grab the other needle and do the same thing because we're just gonna match our two ends up here. And then bring both needles through one of the four millimeter Chinese crystals here. Now, because I want this clasp end to be a little more flexible, um, I've actually put a loop of seed beads there on this far end of this toggle. So I've got five seed beads here. I'm just going to put them on one thread first. And then through the toggle. And I'm going to bring my other needle back through them. I'm also going to bring it back through the four millimeter beads so that both needles are coming back the other direction. So if I just pull this tight, it should create a little loop. There we 
There we go. That's looking better. Um, you could use a wire guardian there if you choose. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build our seed beads back up to the top area. So we're building out to the other um, to the other loop of the um, hole of the diamond duo. So I'm going to put get my threads worked out here. And I'm going to put 10 seed beads on each of my needles. So I might just work down one side and then do the other side after. So I'll just put the 10 seed beads on. And then I'm going to go through the outside hole of the diamond duo. And then as we go along here, it's going to be one O bead, one Chinese crystal, and one O bead. So you want to work that all the way along your side until you get to the other end, and then I'll catch up with you again and we'll show, finish how to do the clasp. So I've threaded all my beads on and here I am at the other end and I've even gone so far as to thread the 10 seed beads on each, on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run with one needle. Remember I said we'd reinforce the clasp. So we're going to reinforce the clasp by basically coming back up through it. So with the second needle again, I'm going to come up through that that rondelle, that four millimeter rondelle, through the clasp. And then back down through the rondelle. So now you've got lots of thread through that clasp. It's not going to break. You're good. And what I'm going to do now is just weave my tail ends off. So I'm just going to bring them back through some of my beads. Maybe we'll just come down the 10 seed beads here. Or actually, let's just do the three on the back. That would be easier. And at this point, I'm just going to tie a little slip knot. So I'm coming under my thread and then through the loop that it creates. And you can even tie a second one in there. And then I'm going to go through a couple beads or so. And I might even do one more, just for good measure. So that one should be good and I can just take the scissors and trim it off. And then same deal with the other one and you'll have your bracelet done. That is your bracelet completely done. So have a good day and I hope you enjoyed this.